Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I am Dana Banana and today is my birthday. I'm actually filming this on the 26th, but I want it to go up on the 27th, my birthday, so I can interact with you guys on my birthday, you know, so I can like talk to you guys in the comments because I like to spend my birthday with people that I love and I love you guys so much. Like I was literally so excited to film a video and have it ready for my birthday so I could interact with you guys. That's, I know that sounds so cheesy, but I don't think you understand how much I appreciate all of your support and how excited I get to speak with you guys in the comments. It's just <sighs> happiness. So yeah, and I also did a kind of Thanksgiving glam look because you know we all like to look glam on, some of us like to look glam on Thanksgiving day and then feast, shove our faces. So yeah, I did that and I used a new ColourPop palette that I got, California Love palette. So, and love it. If you would like to hang out with me on my birthday, see how I got this look right here, then just keep on watching. Oh, let's ask a question. What is your favorite holiday of all time? It could be anything, even if it's your birthday. That's a holiday too. What is your favorite holiday? Leave it down below in the comments and let's get right into this. We're just gonna jump right into this. I am going to use the ColourPop California Love Palette. I picked this up last week, I believe, and I filmed with it, and then my files got corrupted and I wasn't able to use it, so now I'm refilming this, yay. And I'll tell you guys, like before I even get into this, that I love this palette. It's I'm just as in love with it as I was with the last ColourPop palette I reviewed, X's and O's. This one's amazing. I actually, this one has a pressed glitter that I am obsessed with, this shade right here. So obviously I will be applying that today. Also, I have a Reggie on my lip, like, or it's like right on the edge of my lip. And I'm going to start off with this brown shade. So for this past week, this was like kind of forming and I thought it was a fever blister or a cold sore, however you say it, I don't know, cold sore I guess I thought it was. I've never had one before so I wasn't sure but it was like really painful and it was, I get every now and then a pimple like near my lip but this one was like really painful and so I was terrified to put makeup over it especially just in case it was a fever blister because I know they're very contagious and I didn't want to like I don't know spread the infection anywhere around my face but then I found out it was just a pimple so I was overreacting and I definitely could have filmed but better safe than sorry and here I am filming I actually want to start doing like try on hauls let me know if you guys would be interested in that. I really want to start doing them. I've gained a lot of confidence back now that I've lost weight and I don't have as hard of a time shopping for clothes. I actually enjoy it now. So I would love to start doing try on hauls just from different brands or even like I would like to do like a TJ Maxx try on haul. Just branch out a bit. Uh, of course, I'll still do makeup mainly but I think that would be a nice little addition to my channel. What do you guys think? I'm just gonna blend it out with a clean brush and then I'll go in with the transition shade. Now I'm going to take, oh that one was called Highway 1, the shade that I used, and now I'm going to take the shade Laguna. Now if I really like this look then I might wear it for my birthday, if not I'll do something very similar but I've been really liking on my lid like that, oh the white matte shade from my uh, Be Perfect Carnival XL Pro palette. Like, that's my signature look right now is just doing whatever colors I want, pink, brown, whatever and then on like when I cut my crease, I just use that white shade and then blend it out and it's 
I could wear that for the rest of my life and be happy. And I would do that today, but I really wanted to play with this palette and use that pressed glitter. I wore it the other day and I had it on all day. I didn't even, all I used was a base for it, just my concealer that I've been using as a base. And I didn't use my glitter adhesive or anything. And there was hardly any fallout, which is, I feel like, rare for pressed glitters. I always have a lot of fallout, which isn't a big deal for me. Like, I don't mind because I do my eyeshadow first anyway. But there was hardly any fallout, and also it lasted. It didn't crease at all. That's my biggest problem with pressed glitters. Glitters in general, really, is they'll, throughout the day, just start to crease on my like especially in my crease and it didn't do that so I definitely need more ColourPop pressed glitters because they're bomb. I just love how easy these shadows are to work with. I'm going to go off camera and do this eye the exact same that I did to this eye and I'll go ahead and cut my crease too just because I do that in a million videos and I'm about to film, not today but soon I'm going to film an in-depth on how I an in-depth tutorial on how I cut my crease with my eye type, my eye shape, and everything. So yeah, we'll just skip ahead and I will see you in a second. Cut my crease, but now I'm going to add a little bit of a little bit of a little bit more just so it's nice and sticky. Now we're going in with L. Capitan, Capitan, this one. <laughs> obsessed. And I was like, why are you so obsessed with me? Now I'm going to throw on some liner. I'm going to do this off camera as well because y'all know I hate doing eyeliner on camera because I'm like down here and I'm just, it's, it's hard for me, okay? Um, but I'm going to use the Essence Super Last Eyeliner Waterproof. Also, I will throw on some lashes. I'm trying not to make this too long. I don't want you guys to get bored. It's still a get ready with me, but... I'm skipping over the unnecessary parts. For lashes, I'm gonna use the Kiss Pompadour lashes, these. Now we're gonna do the face, and I'm using my e.l.f. Jelly Pop Dew Primer. I love the way this look turned out. And for foundation, I'm going to be using the Clinique Even Better Foundation. I don't know if I've, I don't think I've mentioned this in a video yet. I. I got this as for hitting diamond, like the diamond tier at uh, Ulta, and I got to choose out of uh, Better Than Sex Mascara, full size. There was some moisturizer, or no, it was a facial cleanser, and or any Clinique foundation. So I went with the foundation because I've never tried Clinique's foundation, and I went with this one, and it's amazing for my dry skin. I love this. It might be a little light for me. I can bronze it up. No big deal. That was way, okay, that's too much. So I'm just gonna, <laughs> I don't know why I went crazy like that. This is normally a really good shade for me when I'm like, uh, kind of in between self tanning, which is like 90% of the time. Well, it's actually not too bad though, right now. I've been doing good about not putting too much foundation on. And it's really been looking nice on me with the whole less is more method. And I've worn this quite a few times. I've had this for at least two to three weeks, I think, and I've worn it pretty regularly. And it hasn't done anything like bad to my skin or it's really nice. It lasts, I do set it with a powder, but I set everything with a powder. Every time I put it on, I'm like, oh, I love the way it makes my skin look. It's like a dewy look. 
so nice on my dry skin. So, 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 so nice. And as of lately, I have not been doing concealer. I just feel like it ages me. <laughs> And I don't have any dark circles to cover up, so I just don't feel like I need it. So we're going to jump right into powder. And I finally repurchased my Maybelline Superstay powder foundation. I've I talked about this in quite a few videos because I loved it so much. And then I ran out. And then I started using that Sephora powder, which is still one of the best powders ever. But this is also one of the best powders ever. And it's, it's more inexpensive. But this is, love this stuff. It's so good. I love their whole Super Stay line. It's just really good. And this is the shade Natural Beige. Y'all, please don't judge me. I really need to wash my brushes. I just, I'm so bad at it. it it's so time consuming. I always like panic a little bit whenever I wash, like especially like my favorite brushes. What if... What if something happens and I need, I need that brush? I need it. I can't survive without it. What am I going to do? I have other brushes I can use, but when it comes to my favorite brushes, I have a hard time surviving like a day without them. Oh, feels so much better that I covered that Reggie up. Good Lord, that's a, it's a bad one. It's, it was so painful. It was so swollen and... Oh, it was miserable, but it's finally starting to go down. It's like almost gone, and I'm so happy. I cannot wait to have a glass of wine. I think that's what I'm going to drink when we go out for my birthday. I think I'm just going to drink. I've been doing pretty good with, like, if I drink red wine, and then if I move on to something else, if I drink, like, white, not white claw. White claw makes me sick for some reason. But truly or spiked seltzer, anything like that, I get the perfect buzz, and I have a good time, and my hangover isn't bad, and I'm not a hot mess, so... That's what I'm going to try to stick to. For my lower lash line, I'm just throwing on this shade. It's called Gold Rush. Ugh. This one right here. I love this on the lower lash line. I actually would probably like this all over the lid too, just with some liner. I think that would look really nice. I really, I want to do like a multiple looks one palette with this. I really like it and I just want to play with it more, create more looks. Okay, for the inner corner, I'm going to use this one, Cruisin'. Such a pretty gold shade. For my waterline, this has been my favorite favorite waterline liner. It's the Koki Velvet Smooth Eyeliner, but it's in the shade Chocolate. And it's perfect for my lower lash waterline. But I also kind of drag it onto uh, like right under my lashes. And it gives like a really nice smoky look without it being too harsh. I'm just going to take this and Smudge that liner a bit more. And this liner stays on forever. It's really good for a pencil. And then as always for mascara, I'm using my Monsure Big Lancome Waterproof. Now for bronzer because whew, this face is flat. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Hills, Hills Powder Bronzer. So I've been using the Rich Amber and I've been religiously using that one. And then I saw this one at TJ Maxx. So I was like, let me pick it up. And it's called Tawny. And I actually like this shade for me better. And this is one of my all time favorite bronzers. If you're interested in it, I would check your local TJ Maxx, maybe Marshalls. I don't know. I only saw it at TJ Maxx, but. Sometimes I literally hate my face, hate it so much. And then as soon as I put on bronzer, I'm like, you're not so bad. It's amazing the work it does. 
Okay, for blush, I am using the Milani Dolce Pink Baked Powder Blush. I just saw something on Twitter, I think. I'm not sure. They have like a... It's a whole collection of their blushes for like a bundle price and very tempted because I love this blush. I haven't tried any other colors, but just the formula of this works really well on me. So I'm going to look in that bundle and see if it has like some more like peach or coral tones. And if so, I'll probably get it. For highlighter, I'm using my Soph X Revolution palette. This has just always been one of my favorites since I purchased it and I kind of neglected it and I missed it so now I'm back using it. I'm using this gold shade right here. So what is your favorite Thanksgiving dish? I'm curious. Fun fact, I hate Thanksgiving food. I do not like it. I don't like turkey. I'm not a fan of turkey at all. Um, but that's, it's probably just because I prefer like Cajun food, like gumbo, jambalaya, roast rice and gravy. Uh, and Thanksgiving food just doesn't compare to that. And yeah, like some people, especially in Louisiana, can make a really good turkey. But I just, I don't like stuffing. I don't, I can't eat pecan pie. So I don't like pumpkin pie. I don't know, but I like Romanians, how Romanians cook for Thanksgiving because they don't really celebrate Thanksgiving, but like my in-laws celebrate now because they live here and you know, any excuse to have a get together with the family. So most of the time my mother-in-law will cook um, sarmale. And it's so good. It's a Romanian cabbage roll and oh my God, it's so good. So I live for like Romanian food and Cajun food on Thanksgiving. Other than that, I don't want it. Okay, so I'm also going to do my lips off camera. That's another thing I struggle putting on camera. I'm using the Gerard Cosmetics Share Lip Pencil. This is my favorite combo ever for a, a nude lip for me. And then the Bare It All liquid lipstick by Gerard Cosmetics as well. So I'm going to put the lip liner on, put this on, and then I'll come back and show you the finished look. Okay, I am done. I'm sorry if I skipped over too much stuff. I don't know. I am kind of antsy right now. Like I'm like, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but this is the finished look. I did set with my Koki Set and Forget setting spray. Nerfed. I hope you guys like this look. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for joining me on my birthday. I I was so excited when I was when this thing healed up and I was like, okay, yay, I can have a, a video out on my birthday because I just wanted to interact with you guys today so bad. So here I am. Thank you so much for watching and send me some good vibes for my hangover tomorrow. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. I love you so much. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video. Bye!